Let us play a number trick. Think of a number. You can think of any random number. I am taking 12 as an example here. Then double it. So this becomes 24. Next, you add 4 to it. So 24 plus 4 becomes 28. Then half the result. That is divide your result by 2. So in my case here, this becomes 14. And lastly, subtract the original number from it. I can bet that the answer you have received is 2. And this will always be 2 for any natural number. We have all played such number tricks with our friends, right? But have you ever wondered about the fact that there can be lots of such tricks that we can play with numbers and find some incredible things? One such incredible thing was discovered by D.R. Kapreker. Kapreker was an Indian mathematician who worked extensively on number theory. He discovered multiple interesting mathematical phenomena, one of which is called Kapreker's constant. Named after him, of course, Kapreker's constant is actually a four-digit number. Now, one might think what could be so special about a four-digit number. So, let's look into this. Let's do one exercise. You can also just take your paper and pen and write down a random four-digit number. I am taking 3421. Okay, then what you have to do is form the largest number possible from the four digits that you have taken. So, this will be 4321 here. Next, you form the smallest number possible from those same four digits that you have taken initially. And that is 1234. Then, subtract the smallest number from the largest. And whatever result you have received, repeat the process. That is, now form the largest four digit number from these four digits, which will be 8730. And the smallest number will be 0378. Subtract these two, get the result, repeat the process. The largest four digits from these digits will be 8532. The smallest will be 2358. Subtract these two, get the result, repeat the process. So the largest digit will be 7641 and the smallest will be 1467. Subtract these two again and we again get 6174. So now if I do it one more time, we'll still be getting 6174. This 6174 is Capricus constant. And what is so fascinating about this constant is that if you take any four digit number and repeat this process, this algorithm, you will always result in 6174 in some iterations. For example, here it took us one, two, three, three iterations to get to the Capricus constant. Let us take one more example. Let us try this time with thousand. So the largest number is of course one zero zero zero, that is thousand, and the smallest is 0001. On subtracting these, I get 0999. I'm purposefully writing it as 0999. So that once I form the largest four digit number, that will be 9990. Smallest is again 0999. Subtract these two, get the result, repeat the process. Again, get the result, repeat the process. So we keep on doing this and I realize that I receive the Capricus constant in 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 iterations. Now, the question is, is there a limit to the number of iterations we have to perform? Or do we have to keep on going to like 14th, 17th number of like iterations? Very interestingly, this algorithm reaches the Capricus constant in at most 7 iterations. Couple of examples where we have to do 7 iterations are 9004, 9016. You can maybe try and come up with more such examples. Now, the question is, is it really true for all the four-digit numbers? Well, it actually is. Although there is a small exception. That is, the, all the four digits should not be same. For example, if I just take 1111, the largest is the same and the smallest is the same. So, on subtracting these two, I'll get zero. So, I cannot continue with the algorithm. But apart from this, it applies to all the four-digit numbers. Now, I'm just leaving you with one thought to ponder over. Is there any three-digit number which satisfies the condition of Capricus constant?
you can just maybe take a three digit three digit number and do the algorithm and you might come up with that unique constant